Can you do 10 piece? No. Okay. No? All right. Okay. No? They, they were one that price was together. She said one price and the mother said only said how many price. Morning. Morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Time to go build Yeah. <laughs> long overdue. What was it? Seven straight before that? Yeah. <laughs> Too many. How much is your stereo? Ten bucks, I'll do that. How much is this? This one. Sixty dollars? Okay, I'll pass on this, but I'll buy the stereo. Oh, sorry. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll put the golf bag back. Appreciate it. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. These were Disney pins and they wanted four dollars each, but they were doing like two for six, four for ten dollars, so about two fifty each if you're buying a lot of them. I thought about making an offer for all of them, but I just don't know that they would have came down enough to where I could have bought them and flipped them for a profit, so I passed on these. What are these gold cards you have? Can I take a look at that Johnny Bench? Never seen that before. That's cool. Yeah, it came out in the 90s. Island Mint. Interesting. Is this what you're looking for, Dan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we've got a few packs here if you want to. I hit what are you asking on those? Uh, about 60. 60? Yeah, yeah. That's cheap. Yeah, they're neat. Gretzky, Montana. Yeah. Emmett, uh, Emmett Smith, Nolan Ryan. Uh, Mint card. Bronze. Huh. That's I saw a lot. Um, in the 90s. Did you? Yeah. Got a bunch of cards. Yeah. I just had a store. Yeah, you just had a store in the mid 90s. Oh, yeah? yeah. How much are your packs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably just put all the packs in there. Yeah, about well, no, no. Dollar a pack? Yeah. Cool. I'll buy these. Mm -hmm. Do you have any Kobe Bryant? Kobe, uh, Kobe probably would have been after. Yeah. Most no, I have, I have he was like 96, 97. Yeah. I see some Garnett. That's why I thought maybe you would have some. Yeah, I was going to say the store we had was open until about 95, 96. Gotcha. So I think Kobe probably would have came out uh, the next year. Were these just prices marked? No, it's it's probably make an offer if you find some that are interesting. Okay. Honestly, just... the, the pricing is from probably 1997, so. 
I'll just get a, a stack together if that's okay, and yeah. then we'll figure out a price. How much is the top's finest, Griffey? Uh, how much? Five bucks. Yeah, take a look at it. I think I might get that. All right, I'll take that. I owe you one, two, three, four, five, seven for these. All right. I owe you have two for this. All right. Uh, would you go twenty on your stack of singles there? Twenty. I'm being a man. Um, not readily available. I can think of, and there might be somewhere mixed in. Fifty? Yeah. No, I can't do fifty bucks. Take this one. Take that one out of the mix, and I do thirty. Forty. Yeah. Uh, Thirty-five. You got a deal. I own I own twelve for this and two for this. That's fourteen. Fifty. That's fine. Yeah. Here you go, thank you. Right. Morning. Hey. What's your jerseys? Twenty bucks is what uh, my mom wants for. Them. Okay. Twenty bucks each? What's that? Yeah. Twenty each, okay. What's that? Oh, we're asking 20 on the steel shirt. Sure. Yeah. $2 for those would be fine. I'd go 10 a piece on them. No. We're yeah. We've 15. had a lot. We've climbed more. I think I'll pass on that. Thanks, though. Okay. Okay. I'll take 10. we we'll do 10 a piece? No. Okay. No. All right. Okay. No? They, they were doing that price together. She said one price, and the mother said only said higher price. Whatever you want to do. Well, we want a 20. And you're offering what, 10? Yeah. How about 1250? 1250, maybe 25. You got a deal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for working with me, ma'am. Do you want the hangers? No, you can have them back. No. We don't need them. Don't need them? Okay, no problem. Okay. Thank All right, you. Thank you, dear. Good luck with your sale. Hi. What's I up? Was just talking about you. No kidding, man. Hey. What's your name? Hi, Noah. Noah, nice I, to meet you, buddy. Nice. I love your videos, too. Hey, thanks, like, dude. That's a big inspiration for what I've, like, I do it. Oh, that's so cool, yeah. man. I was always wondering if I'd ever see you. That's wild, man. Are you finding anything in the sales? Uh, I found some Skylanders at a different sale, but yeah. this is my only my second one here. Nice. I just got here. So do you buy and resell? Uh, yes, yes. That's awesome, yeah. man. That's, yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's yeah, it's addicting. Going out hitting sales. Yeah, it is. What's up, guys? It is Sunday morning. Yesterday, I only had time to go to a handful of garage sales, but I did pick up a couple things. Got them all pulled out. I'm going to show you what I bought. There was a bunch of cards at one sale. A guy had a card store in the 90s, so he had all his cards out. I guess he's had them for like, you know, 30 plus years. And I was kind of going through. There wasn't that much, you know, I was really interested in there because a lot of it's just junk wax. He did have some Fleer basketball packs. I got these for a dollar each. I'm probably just going to do these as giveaways on whatnot. And I was asking about uh, prices on individual cards and the son was like, hey, just make a stack and, you know, make us an offer. It seemed like the son really wanted to get rid of stuff, the dad not so much. So I went through, I uh, pulled out some Jerry Rice, some, you know, Brett Favre, uh, some Kevin Garnett cards, King Griffey Jr. These are all mid-90s. It's all junk wax. The stuff was just super overproduced. So 
wasn't a lot of value there. I think I offered like 20 bucks, which I thought was pretty fair. It's about 50 cents a card. And he came back with 50 and he pulled out a Joe Montana from 1986 and seemed like he was pretty proud of that one. I'm like, all right, let's take that out of the deal. Uh, even though that's like a dollar card, there's just not much value there. I took that out of the deal, offered 30. Uh, he came back with 40. We settled on 35 and I was like, that's fine. Because I'll sell these individually on whatnot. You know, they might bring a couple bucks each, maybe. Or they could just be good giveaways, that kind of thing. I've been selling a lot of cards on whatnot. Having a ton of fun with it. So if you guys like cards, definitely follow me on whatnot. I'll put a link down below in the description. I also picked up this Tops Finest, King Griffey Jr. This is from 94. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Definitely reminds me of my childhood. Tops Finest were just super sharp cards back in the day. And they... They hold up pretty well. It's a 30-year card almost, but it's it's gorgeous. I put it in a one-touch case just because I'm going to display it on the shelf. Also bought this there. This is a uh, Busilla Christmas Gallery of Stitches, like a crochet kit. Uh, paid $2. These can have really good value. This one, unfortunately, has been opened. Didn't even notice it was opened. I just grabbed it because it seems rare that I found the, that I find these, and I got excited when I saw it. Because I've sold these for some pretty good money. Uh, you can sell these uh, old crochet kits for like $50, $100 and up. Um, I couldn't find prices on this one. The fact that it's opened, I'm not even sure if it's complete. So this one was a bad buy. At another sale, I got this car stereo. This goes to a Hyundai Elantra. I paid $10 for it. And I saw the same one sell for like $70. They said this remote goes with it. But it says Kenwood. This is the original stereo for the car. So I don't know if... Kinwood made it, and this actually goes with it. I don't believe so. This probably goes to the one that they replaced this with, but I could be wrong. Only reason I look twice at this is because my buddy Kevin, the Tennessee Picker, has bought these several times and made really good money on them. Kevin is one of the best pickers I know. If you guys aren't following him, definitely give him a follow. Good guy and super knowledgeable. I'll put a link down below in the description to his channel. Last things I bought on the day were two Steelers jerseys. This first one is Heinz Ward. It's a little rough. It's got some stains. Some of the stitching is starting to come apart a little bit. Not in the best shape. You know, maybe a 7 out of 10 condition-wise, something like that. Uh, and then this one is Ben Roethlisberger. This one's in much better shape. 2XL. And they wanted $20 each. Honestly, I doubt I'll get a whole lot of money for these. I think I'm going to flip these on whatnot as well. I offered $10 each, and the I don't know if it was the husband or what. The guy that was at the sale was like, no, I think she's wanting more for him. I'm like, that's, a, that's you know no problem. So I went to put him back, and then the older woman came out and was like, you know, I'll probably do 10 for him. She's like, I'll do 10 for him because I want to get rid of him, it seemed like. And then the daughter kind of chimed in and was like, no, don't let these go for 25 and, or like less than 30 or something. So they were arguing back and forth. And I was just trying to stay back and let them figure out what they wanted to do because I don't want to step on toes and, you know, cause family fights over trying to buy something at a garage sale. So then the older lady comes up to me and she's like, hey, how about uh, $12.50 each? That's $25. I'm like, that's fine. More than happy to pay that. I'm hoping to sell these for maybe $20 each. I really don't know. I mean, Heinz Ward is definitely um, a great Steelers player. It's just not in good shape. This one will probably bring $15. Maybe this one will bring 25 and then I can uh, get 40 for the pair. A little bit of profit. I don't know. We'll see. That was definitely an awkward <laughs> interaction at a garage sale. I've never had somebody give me a price and, you know, kind of agree on the deal. And then somebody else in the family say, like, no, you're not doing that. So I was just holding back, you know, not jumping in and, like, being greedy on, you know, price or anything like that. Just kind of taking what they would give me and uh, keep peace in the family. I don't want them, you know, fighting over garage sale stuff. As I was leaving that sale, I ran into a viewer named Noah. He came up uh, and he was like, my mom and I were just talking about you and it's funny that we just ran into you. So Noah, thank you for saying hi. It was great to meet you and wish you the best of luck in your reselling journey. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.